Sunday. Ah, it's not a Sunday. But imagine that it's a Sunday. And many of you would face a situation I face every damn Sunday. The curious case of an empty fridge. You know, this is almost psychic, and thank God we are in Vienna to solve a psychic problem, the land of Professor Dr. Sigmund Freud. So what you can do is, you can take 20 grams of spaghetti kept in one corner, you boil it, 20 grams of mushrooms, 20 grams of cheese, 20 grams of tomato, 20 grams of carrots, 20 grams of something else, and you put it in this bowl and you bake it, and you make the most delicious Auflauf ever. You see, an Auflauf is basically made from the leftovers, leftover ingredients of the previous night. And it's a very interesting dish because you're mixing five or more ingredients in more or less equal quantities. And this is a very non-traditional way of preparing a dish. Now, let me tell you what is a traditional way of preparing a dish like the spaghetti carbonara, where you have one ingredient in excess in a large quantity, and other ingredients are added in small quantities to enhance the taste of this one main ingredient. Let me simplify this a bit. In spaghetti carbonara, what is your excess quantity or your one main big quantity, a lot of spaghetti. And you add a little bit of ham, a little bit of eggs, some cheese, to enhance the taste of the spaghetti in spaghetti carbonara. The same goes for chicken curry. A lot of chicken, a little bit of spices to enhance the taste of the chicken. And Auflauf works in a completely different way. Now, you must be wondering, what the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> you see, I'm a metallurgist working in metal physics, and you know what? Metallurgists have designed metal alloys, just like the spaghetti carbonara, to be extremely traditional. Let me give you an example. So, let's create a metal alloy that we all know of using the spaghetti carbonara root. You want something really strong, steel or stahl. What is your main ingredient in steel or stahl? A lot of iron. This is your spaghetti in spaghetti carbonara. Now, what you can do is you can add a little bit of manganese to change the properties, a little bit of carbon to make it a little stronger, a little bit of chromium to make it stainless steel. You know, these enhances the properties of iron in steel, just like a little bit of ham enhances the taste of spaghetti in spaghetti carbonara. The same goes for your aluminum alloys, where aluminum is in your excess quantity. But what if we design a metal alloy using the Auflauf fruit? So let's design something like the Auflauf fruit. Equal amounts of iron, nickel, cobalt, manganese, chromium. Now, what do you call this metal alloy? You cannot call it an iron metal because, you know, chromium will go on strike saying, I am present in equal amounts, hashtag equality. <laughs> so, as per the knowledge we have in the past three or four minutes, we can call this an Auflauf metal. So, what drives an Auflauf metal? So, we love graphs, so let's plot the randomness of the system versus the type of food. For a spaghetti carbonara, the randomness is very low because the probability of a spaghetti sitting next to another spaghetti is very high. <laughs> this reduces the randomness of a system. It's just like iron sitting next to another iron and steel. For a, uh, an Auflauf, the randomness is very high because the probability of a carrot sitting next to another carrot is very low. Now, if you're studying thermodynamics, you would know that increasing the randomness of a system is increasing the configurational entropy of a system. So you can call the Auflauf a high 
entropy food. And you can call the metals designed like an off-love a high entropy metal. So the concept of high entropy metals is, is pretty new. It's, it's been there for the past five or 10 years, still the lab scale. You have your whole periodic system. Imagine taking you know, elements in equal amounts in five or more different quantities and adding them. Now, obviously, we follow certain scientific laws, but let's not get into that, but just understand the concept of a high entropy metal. And some of them have shown excellent properties at very low or very high temperatures where other mat materials have completely failed. For example, this off-love metal has shown excellent properties at very low temperatures. Now, when you're designing an off-love metal like this, you don't want a situation where iron and manganese are sitting in one corner loving each other, and chromium and cobalt are sitting in another corner loving each other. This is what we call second phases of precipitates. You know, it's the same situation where you're having an off-love with your partner, and somehow you get the spaghetti, the chicken, the cheese, the mushrooms, and your partner gets the, the carrots, the, the broccoli, the... We get it, they are, they are nice, but you know, when you're having an off-love with your partner, you want everything mixed together, and so goes for a high entropy metal, where we need a solid solution. In your off-love, if you don't like carrots, you can add broccoli. If you don't like tomato, you can add an egg. You can pick and choose atoms to make a high entropy metal following certain scientific laws, and we have barely scratched the surface. How many of you know this formula? I was surprised too. You see, the first few elements are present more or less in equal quantities. No? This is apparently the formula of human beings. This is what makes you, this is what makes me. We are a single point on a high entropy system. You see that element there, you add an extra atom, we all die. You can pick and choose the atoms to create certain properties that you want. So the next time, now that you know the secret to a high entropy dish, try opening all the cupboards around you, take a bowl, and add everything around you to this bowl in equal amounts. You are making a new high entropy dish that you have never tried before, and it may taste so good, and it may smell so good, that you can serve it in the memory of Nikki Lauda. Thank you so much.